So congratulations, Sean, for winning the semi-final against Ryan and Nick. I think it was harder maybe than you expected. The first set, uh, Ryan and Nick was really far away. Do you were afraid of losing the whole game or in the first set? Uh, you're never afraid. I mean, guys can come out here and play. Everybody's good out here. You don't get, you never get one easy match, and you can never overlook anybody, even if you know we're the one seed in the tournament and they're, you know, they're actually 16, but. Uh, they're playing well, and uh, they beat us up in the first game, and we played them in the first game of pool play also, and uh, we won that one in two sets, and um, Ryan came out and played a really good game. Uh, Nick made some great plays also, especially early in the first set, and, uh, you know, we just stuck together and hung it out. Uh, it was a big win for us. In the second set, you, you come back in the decider in the third set. I think it was also tight, and then uh, what do you saw when, when Nick makes this uh, incredible defense? And I, I think it was the second set when Ryan makes this backhand shot. What do you think then? Third set also. Uh, Ryan made a backhand shot on the first point of the third game. Um, you know, just uh, slapped it off uh, Phil's hands. And, uh, you know, it's a little wet. The ball's wet out there, so if it doesn't hit you solid, it's going to slide off the side. So. Ryan made a great play, and uh, but Nick's was uh, almost a game saver. You know, if they come back and win that match because of that play, and maybe they talk about that play for a long time because uh, it wasn't only the dig. And then he gets the set and does a backhand flipper right in the corner. So, um, you know, I know Nick makes a lot of incredible plays, but that was, uh, you know, that would have put us up 13-11. Or maybe even 13-10. I think it was 12-10. And then, uh, you know, to make that play was uh, was big. And I was, I was side out right after. So you, side out right after. Yeah. Okay. To stop their momentum. <laughs> Forget about that play. Okay. Yeah. So now you get the second chance to win the second Grand Slam. On the uh, other side of the court, you mentioned uh, in Stavanger that this is very important for you. Are you fine with this side now to play there on the other? Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, I just think the more and more I play, more tournaments, more matches, uh, and especially more wins, I'm going to get more confident, get better. You know, I'm able to see the defense a little bit better, especially when I'm passing well. And, uh, you know, it's a uh, last year, Phil and I played together our first year together, and he played on the right side. And uh, he really wanted to try it out. And we had a decent year out here. We did well. We won three out of eight tournaments. And uh, for us to make that change in the off season, um, you know, I think in the long run it's going to be good for us. And uh, you know, right now we've we've won 13 matches in a row out here. And you know, hopefully we can make it 14 tomorrow. You win in the rain during the whole week. What do you uh, wish for tomorrow? Rain or sun? <laughs> I wish for sun, of course. Uh, I think everybody does, the fans, the promoters, uh, us <laughs> players. Um, you know, when it's rainy and up here, it, it can get cold. And, uh, so, uh, but, you know, it's beach volleyball outside and you got to deal with the conditions and the other team has to deal with the same as you got to deal with. And so, yeah, we hope for uh, sun for everybody, but uh, whatever it is, we'll be ready. Okay, so congratulations again and all the best for tomorrow. Thanks.